Greetings and welcome to Her Majesty Blog, where we bring together the world of pageants with the sole aim of revolutionizing the standards of beauty and creating a social change through women empowerment. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Temu and I will be your host with the most for tonight. It was with what am I saying? <laughs> Seems like it has been a while since we've been here. Now we even, you know what, <laughs> twisting our tongues. It is within her, which also happens to be our slogan. On this particular series, we take a journey along the phenomenal lives of pageant queens, directors, and everybody that is involved in the pageant industry. Look, we want to know what it takes to be pioneering women in the industry so if you're watching this you are at the right place and at the front row seat of all things pageantry you can follow us right here on instagram facebook twitter and of course catch up on all our videos on youtube tonight i have an amazing guest her name is chili zimpego she just joined yes she just joined and she is about to tell us all about queen of the North Junior. She's the reigning queen of the North Junior 2022. Let me quickly accept her and they get this conversation. Ah, oh, she's unable to join. Let's try again. We did have a few technical difficulties. However, we are here. We are back and we are ready. We are ready for these chats. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Is she here? Yay! Hi! Hi! How are you? I'm great in yourself. I'm um, well, thank you, Chili D. You know what? I need you to show off Ganani. Look, I can see your face, man, but I want these people to see your sash. Like, can you go back a bit so they can see your gorgeous sash? <laughs> this is my sash. Yeah. Yes. Is it better? Are you comfortable? Are you? Yes, it's much better. I want them to see all of this. You know, <laughs> how are you? How are you doing? I'm great and I'm so excited. Oh, we're excited to have you on our platform. And you know what? Without wasting any time, I want us to get straight into, you know what, this discussion. But before that, Let's break the ice a bit so that we are relaxed and, you know, we've laughed a bit before getting into the most serious things, right? So we're going to play a game, right? And it's called word association. So I'm going to give you a word or a phrase and you're going to tell me what you associate it to, right? Let's say I say bedroom. You could ideally say sleep. Um, if I say house and you're like home, you know? Or maybe like yeah. anything that that particular word or the particular person that I'm mentioning to you, like the closest word it gets get associated with. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. All right. Right. Let's start. Should you fight so? Queen, queen, queen. Mm, modeling. Yes. No, it's a, it's a different phrase. Modeling. Okay, photography. High heels. High. Pageant week. Stressful. <laughs> I love the honesty, Miss World. Hectic. <laughs> Why is it hectic? Why is Miss World hectic? I mean, like, the pressure that comes with having such an international title, you know? So, it's hectic. The pressure is getting worse and worse when you have that title, ne? <laughs> Oh, wow. I can only imagine. But, you know what? For those that are wondering, who is Chili Z? Where does she come from? What does she do? Please... Let us know who your gorgeous self is and yeah, tell us all those beautiful things about you. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Chilet Pega. I'm 13 years old and I'm the current Queen of the North Junior Teen 2022. My favorite part of modeling has to be photography and catwalk. 
Now, my favorite things to do is modeling, debate, eating food, and becoming the better version of myself. And my motto in life is, success isn't about greatness, it's about consistency. Consistent work gains success. <laughs> ah, love it, love it, love it, love it. Wow, what a powerful statement. And what would you say you love the most about yourself? There are many features that I really love about myself, but the main thing that I could say I really love myself is my personality. I do have this type of personality where I tend to be very kind, but I can turn to be somehow that nobody really enjoys me. So I could say that my personality is like something I love about myself because I know when to maintain myself in certain situations yeah oh yes one lay to yo let me see if i'm reading it correctly one lay to your b i hope i'm saying it cor- uh, correctly saying the motto and i'm just like i'm out here for the motto as well what a powerful motto that you just mentioned <laughs> so out of all things you could be doing in this world i want to know why pageantry So growing up I used to have this uh vision that I could become a su- superhero you know mm-hmm. pretending that I was superwoman <laughs> so I knew that being in this pageantry industry it could give me some sort of way of being a hero to these unprivileged people with 50% of our South African economy suffering in poverty I believe that becoming a model or becoming a role model who's interested in doing these charity works and spreading love i knew that choosing pageantry will be a great thing to do other than these other things yeah wow so basically it was on a platform that you saw that you could really just reach out to your community and do all these amazing work that you do yes all right all right and this is the very same platform that has led you to being the queen of the North Junior Team 2022. Look, what a title, girl. Like the crown is just sitting on you so properly. The sash suits you. Everything. Like you've got the look like you are giving, girl. <laughs> And I want to know what has been the highlight of your journey so far. There were many highlights about this um journey. But my favorite journey has to be when we went to the Ramaboy drop-in center and the Banapili drop-in center where we donated food to some of the unprivileged areas right here in Limpopo where I believe I made an impact in these people's lives because I touched their hearts and souls that I knew with the food that I donated and also by the way I won Miss Beauty with the purpose at Queen of the North to the girl who raised the food So I knew that um the hell it definitely has to be going and donating food considering the fact that I raised the most food in my age group. Yes. And how did you do it? Like I'm curious. Like wow. You know when you win Miss Queen, you know what um with a purpose it really means that you went out of your way to really get sponsorship, you know, to really ask friends. How would you say you won this title? Um with the help of my mom and my aunt I was able to create a poster which I was able to post around on my social media platforms and also with the help of the community around me by going door to door asking for canned food or even monetary values which really helped me get that title brave brave girl yeah. I love it I love it I love it I love it especially when you make your community to realize that look should i win this you winning as well it's not just my win on my own so the whole entire community won as soon as you were crowned miss beauty with a purpose and then which other pageants do you plan on conquering in life like you know i'm sure there's some pageants which you're eyeing like cuz you're only 13 right right now and i'm sure there are pageants which you eyeing like hmm I want to enter that one. I want to enter that one and that one and that one. Okay, so basically um last year I entered for Miss Limpopo province. I mm-hmm. made it to the finalist, 
would feel like is not really an accomplishment for me, even though it's such a huge accomplishment for everyone. So I really do want to enter again this year, but if I decide to go otherwise, I'm planning on entering for the Miss Capricorn District because I see there are a lot of values and benefits that do come with these such pageants. Yes. Definitely. Hey, girl, no matter how far you make it in the pageant, it is an achievement, girl, because remember, it's all about the journey, you know? So in as much as you feel like you could have done better, you could have done this, you could have done that, look, answer again, try again, try again, and we definitely show that you will make it through this year. Thank you. Miss Africa in the near future, maybe. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. But look, you are well on your way there. You're already doing the work. So it shouldn't be difficult once you get there and you're just like, bam, I want to be your Miss South Africa. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can. All right. You, you, are, a, you are a business owner at 13. I'm shocked. I wasn't thinking about business when I was 13. I'm so proud of you. Can I just say that? Tell me more about your business, my darling. Um, when I first entered Queen of the North, I was so shocked by the prices of makeup, hair, and the nails. I was like, that's so unbelievable. To consider the fact you would even go without even receiving a crown for the price that you paid for these things. So... When I added up everything, it was summer up 1,000, which I found mm -hmm. exaggerating. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I decided to work in such a business where I know you can get all those things just half a price, which is such a great value because sometimes it's not even about how much your makeup costs or how much your nail and hair costs, but it's the thought that counts. So if it goes by the price, no one could even notice how much you paid. So we mm. decided to we decided to open this business. Sorry to you you went also help a spread you. Oh, I was saying my mom and I started this business just to help um girls know that no matter how ex it, it makeup can be so expensive, but there is a place mm -hmm. where you can so we are planning on launching in probably April this year. So guys, please do check us out and please, please support us when you guys ever have a pageant. So the name, so the name, so the page, so they know we support you. Thank you. I'm saying throw the name. What's the name of your business, my angel? So they can know where to support you and what's your business name? Um, It's on Instagram, it's Tease Nail Hair and Makeup Beauty Bar. And on TikTok, it is Tease Nail Hair and Makeup Beauty Bar. Yes. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic stuff. So how do you manage, like, school, pageantry, your business, you know, social life? How do you juggle all these things? I mean, I know it's a lot of things to handle considering my age but then like if you have the right and positive mindset and you know how to organize your things will go great for you so i normally have uh, a time plan yes. or a weekly plan yes. either or in a file or something where i can tell myself just to juggle my daily routines yes time management love 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 that and how would you encourage other young people that really just want to chase their dreams? Okay, well, I was growing up, I was surrounded with these older girls that were doing pageants. E.g., um, Valenda Mudau, she was once here. She's actually yes. one of the... She's actually one of the main reasons I actually entered pageantry. Oh, Seeing her go competitions being like i want to be like my older sister you know so mm -hmm. going throughout all things actually a benefit so my advice to you girls or young girls that are afraid to go for your dreams or go for your dreams 
what lies before us or what lies behind us doesn't matter but of what lies between us because you never know what can happen after you get started thank you wow i'm going to need to make a reel out of that video that moment where you just mentioned that code so so powerful because really wow i'm not going to add anything onto that because so well said look i'm sure that your peers are encouraged as we speak and what what development activity are you currently involved in with your community and so on so as as your reigning queen of the north the new queen of the north is coming up soon on the 25th of march right so yes there will be a new queen which is very sad cuz i just thought <laughs> what i'm excited to do is that probably a week before i want to go back to a place where i went for the mislipopo province project just to um help and give sanitary towels like how i did before because i believe in a code that says sanitary towels should not be a privilege but should be a right mm-hmm. so i believe the current developed in or i'm currently interested in is going back to my let me just say to my granny's place vendor and donate some sanitary towels and hygiene products okay I just want to read a comment that you got here from Bokang Matiti. She's like, yes, Silizi, that's my fellow hardworking debater. So you do debating as well. Wow. Okay. Hi, Bokang. <laughs> oh, wow. You seem like somebody who wears a lot of hats, and I'm sure you do more than one extramural activity. So besides debating, what do you do at school as well? I wouldn't really like hey but um I could just say I only do debates but I've been interested in joining the school choir and I've also been interested in doing dance at school because I find like I can engage to that I don't care whether I can sing or not but I'm so interested in joining the choir Look your voice will just mend in some way they like within <laughs> i'm pretty sure that you have an amazing voice as long as you love singing so look you have got this girl <laughs> how would you like to be remembered one day first and foremost i don't only want to be remembered as a model who started a business at a at a young age who started getting a lot of money but i also want to be remembered as a model who left a foot be, a foot a foot step behind all those communities that she has left i also want to be remembered as a role model to these young people and a person who was determined to change our environment to change the way people view self love and self acceptance because i don't just want to be like those models who earned a lot of money but because i'm not aiming to earn a lot of money the money that i will earn i know I'm going to the community because they'll be the reason i'm earning a lot of money so i want to be remembered as a model who left a huge footprint behind in a, a community environment and also to be remembered as a model who embraced self love and self acceptance Yeah. Oh wow what a beautiful beautiful response oh my goodness leading to our last and final question and it happens to be our signature question here on her majesty and that is what does beauty mean to you now many people define beauty as having perfect bodies or perfect facial appearances but i define beauty as let's take for a girl for instance so in a girl i would define beauty as to being a girl with confidence you know a girl with with a strive or the strive to end world hunger to end these um bad happening create world peace so i would define beauty in a person as a way that beauty is giving back to the community beauty is helping those in need and beauty is just mainly loving yourself and accepting yourself as is because if you don't love yourself first 
you will not love anyone else and there's a quote that says that love is the first because that is the person you'll be spending the rest of your life with thank you i couldn't agree more wow it all starts yeah like you know that why i guess you know it is within her you know when we're having you here on our platforms we're really just here to show that it is within you and it literally starts with you and i have a question from khalalelo she is saying what do you believe or why do you believe that you are different from other models okay now as we look back to these other models these other models are mainly striving on getting a lot of followers on instagram tiktok and other social media platforms mm-hmm. but that's not what i'm looking for I'm mainly a model that is different for people because I am looking to change our community and a South Africa as a whole. I am also mainly different from others because I am striving to end um these mental health issues to raise mental health awareness, right? Because fifty because it is said that South Africa is currently producing the most percentage of suicidal rates. So I as a model I believe I am different from other people because I have a lot of platforms or a lot of ideas that I want to brainstorm in this pageantry industry and in our South African economy. Thank you. All right. I'm going to squeeze in just one more question. That's the last one that is from Bakang Mashi Bokang Mashishi and the question is what do you as an individual stand for? Like I said earlier on I stand mainly on a lot of things. but the main thing that i feel like i stand on the most has to go towards teenage pregnancy it is said that teenage pregnancy is not a punishment it's mainly sort of a disaster at a young age which is something that i don't truly believe in because no matter whenever you have a baby no matter when you decide to have a baby it doesn't deprive you from what is yet to come it doesn't deprive you for what you are going for so for these people that are actually judging these people that have babies at a early young age you're actually depriving yourself from the social platforms because you're actually proving to people that you're nothing but a karen right you're proving to people that what you stand for is not correct so i stand for teenage pregnancy because i believe the way people are taking this mindset of teenage pregnancy is wrong thank you okay hey what a powerful answer and what a powerful interview thank you so so much chilizi for giving us the honor and the privilege of your time this evening we really really appreciate it and we really wish you all the best with you handing over the crown in literally a couple of weeks time and all the best for the rest of your journey going forward in the pageant industry we hope to have you here with a different sash and look telling us all about your new journey because we believe that you have still so many amazing things to do in this industry. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much. Have a pleasant evening further my angel. Goodbye. There you have it. She is queen of the north and her name is Chili Zimpeko. Ah, oh, what an amazing guest. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she smart? Oh my goodness. I have a couple of announcements for tonight. So this year you get an opportunity to vote for your favorite person, right? So at the end of the year at the 3rd annual Her Majesty Awards, you get to vote for your favorite interview. Is that so simple? So literally we're going to give you a chance to vote for interview of the month and those interviews are going to go for, towards interview of the year it's really really that simple and i need to to announce our winner but i want to see if i can tag her and get her to be part of this live for about a minute so the interview of the month for the month of february is let me see if i can get her on she was here just now um let me see let me see let me see if i can get her on oh when up 
for the month of February is Phase of Devotion Nzansi 2022-2023 Rebound MPT. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. You stand a chance to win at the end of the year. And congratulations for making it this month, this past month. I mean, wow. Look, you were so, so amazing. And I remember I interviewed you and look, you were all so amazing. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Ah, we really appreciate you. Next episode of It Is Within Her Chat is scheduled for Thursday, the 30th of March. And we're going to be having the amazing Coach Merv, who's going to tell us all about, look, the importance of having a pageant mentor. Because you always hear about this pageant mentorship. And look, we're going to discuss all things coaching with Coach Merv. I hope you guys are looking forward to the episode. Do send us through questions if you have any. And the next announcement is that if you know anyone who's a pageant service provider, for example, a photographer, a sash manufacturer, a hairdresser, anybody who's offering a service that is towards pageantry, please tell them to drop us a DM, drop us an email on our email address. It's at Her Majesty Organization, at Her Majesty Organization, I'm sorry, at gmail.com, or drop us a WhatsApp on 073 double one seven four double seven i'll repeat the number it is zero seven two zero seven three i'm sorry double one seven seven three seven seven so that is it for me for tonight i hope you have an amazing evening further it is a wrap we are back like we've never left our next episode is this coming thursday and do have a blessed evening and for me with them and the team it is good night and god bless bye